Hello and welcome to another video of On The Tech. Today I'll be reviewing the solar panelled wind up radio with torch made by Unicom. Just to let you know, Unicom is a electronics manufacturer that specialises in making eco-friendly electronics. Before I start the review I'd just like to say that I've sellotaped this on so you can clearly see that so I'll just show you a picture of what the device would look like without the sellotape on here right now. So the reason I put sellotape on the handle was because I was spinning it around a bit too vigorously and it snapped so I need to stick it I had to stick it on using sellotape. So let's begin. First of all we will be looking at the physical controls and features. So on the front we have this is used to generate power using kinetic energy. Here's the headphone jack. This is used to decide whether you want the radio to be powered by batteries, generated power or solar power. This controls whether the radio is on FM or AM frequency. Here's the volume which is also used as an on and off button, like so. No, it's worth knowing. So that click is turning on and off. This is used to tune the radio. And here is the speaker. On the side we have a torch. On the back we have a long aerial. which can be rotated and extended obviously. You also have a battery compartment which holds three AA batteries. On top you have a small solar panel and on the side this is used to recharge the batteries using DC mains. And that's it for the controls. Now we'll be doing some tests on the radio. First of all we're going to test finding a radio station so let's put the aerial up turn it on I'm just going to put it now I'm going to try getting a radio station so there's one there you got one there Another one. There we go. There we go. That was to test how easy it is to find radio stations manually because that's obviously the only choice you have on these type of radios. Now we will be testing what the radio is like with the aerial up and the aerial down. As I know a lot of people will want to keep the aerial down to make this device as portable as possible. It is what the radio sounds with the aerial up. And now with the aerial down. As you can see, there isn't a huge difference with the aerial down and up with some radio stations, so you don't actually have to worry too much whether to keep the aerial up and down so it is as portable as possible. So now we are going to test the sound quality of the radio depending on whether the radio is being powered by battery or powering it using kinetic energy used with this. So here's the radio powered by batteries and then by generated power. Generated. battery powered. 
generated. As you can see, there is barely any difference. I think the only difference you can see is how light the LED is on the actual radio, but that is it. The quality is pretty much exactly the same. So that's the radio. Now I'm going to show you the torch on the right hand side. So here it is. It is an LED torch. Um, and it is quite bright and can light up quite a long distance. So I can't really test it now as it's daytime. So now I'll be talking to you about the different ways how the rechargeable battery can be recharged. Now to talk about the generated power, but apparently on the box it says if you charge it on average for a minute it will, last, it will last for on average half an hour. So that doesn't sound too bad. It's just you're going to have to do it continuously and that's why I snap the handle because I went a bit over the top and I was spinning it around for ages and I was pushing it down. And when it got to here, it just went straight in and it snapped off. But don't worry too much about that, about the handle snapping off. Just be gentle with it. Um, I'll show you roughly the fastest speed you should do it before posing a threat to the actual plastic. So yeah, I was spinning it fast then, whilst it was only being stuck together by sellotape, and it was still fairly strong and I had nothing to worry about. So now we're going to talk about how the radio is powered by a solar panel. Now unfortunately for me, it doesn't seem to work very well, and it seems that it has to be in a constant light, and the light needs to be quite strong. So maybe if you leave the radio next to a window and you live in a country where it is very sunny, then the solar panel will work quite well. But I live in England, so as you can imagine, recharging the batteries using the solar panel does not work well at all. So just to let you know, the integrated battery in the radio, apparently on the box it says it is long life and say if the re the rechargeable battery integrated into the radio dies you always have the option to power the radio using standard batteries so you can get the unicom solar powered wind up radio with torch from amazon in terms of uk sterling for 15 pounds 99 so in my opinion that is a great deal and i would recommend it to anyone that that's looking for a portable radio or just a radio or just a radio with a speaker or someone that camps a lot or someone that travels a lot it's just overall a great device and so I would give this device four out of five stars thanks for watching comment like subscribe and goodbye